Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy Anna and this video is all about how you can get a first class in your university degree. I graduated last year with my degree in medical biochemistry with a first class. Hence, I've made a video that can help you get one too. That's because today I'm going to be discussing my top tips for time management. If you're an expert in time management, you can achieve anything if you put your mind to it. Before we get going, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Let's go. So the key to my success in medical biochemistry was my time management. When you pick your degree, it's already something you are passionate about and preferably already good at. The only thing left for you to do is be able to manage your time correctly. Then you can study enough to get a first class degree. So let's go through my top tips for time management. Firstly, let's start with how you get up in the morning. Your morning routine is essential for having a successful day. Whatever it is for you, just make sure you have one. Just maybe three or four simple things that you do every morning just to wake your body and mind up. For me, it's getting up, having a cold shower, having a little stretch, eating breakfast, and then doing something to stimulate my brain and I like to do Duolingo, just a few lessons learning Chinese. That really wakes me up. Then I like to make a list of everything I want to achieve. Next is when you're going to the library. All universities have a nice library for our students to study at. The library is a great place, especially if you want to divide where you study. So at home, home is where you have your free time and it's fun, chilled and relaxed. The library is for studying, where you can study hard and get a lot of work done. That's great but a lot of students still are not productive when they go to the library. When I was at uni, I always saw lots of students, they go to the library for the whole day, spend hours, but still not achieve much. And that is because of one reason. They would sit at the desk, computer, keyboard, and in the center would be their mobile phone. Wi-Fi on, notifications on, why? Because every single time that phone makes a noise, that notification goes off, they respond. That could be every five minutes, 10 minutes, they are checking their phone. What is it for? Maybe someone liked your photo, something else, but that made them so much less productive. Guys, you're studying, you've invested a lot of time and money into your degree. Why waste it on someone liking your Facebook post? My rule was to always leave my phone at home. Many people say, oh, I need the phone to tell the time. Get a watch get a watch if that's too much for you you don't want to leave your phone at home then just turn it off and put it in your bag okay and that way you can't be distracted from it it's better to do two hours of hardcore studying with no distractions than spending all day at the library and getting the same amount of work done also regarding the library if your library has a silent zone I preferred silent zone because I can't hear other people chatting and talking in the background. Next is your lectures and your workshops and seminars. Guys, don't miss them. I missed one lecture in my whole degree and that's because I had a really bad migraine that day. One lecture I missed. One, you paid for it and in the UK, you pay nine grand a year and it's probably worth about 50 or 100 pound each lecture you go to. Why would you miss out on that, stupid? Yes, I know there's blackboard and you can catch up on everything, but literally going to the lecture is not the same. How I used to do it, I used to go to the lecture, take some notes, I would have my, either my laptop or my notebook, and then I would go revisit it on blackboard. And I could skip through the video on blackboard because I'd already been to the lecture, I knew what it was all about. So I just skipped to the bits that I wanted a bit more help on and a bit more focus. Next is keeping a diary. The key is to plan out your week really well from Monday to Sunday, just have it all planned. I especially needed to plan every hour sometimes of my day. That's because at university, not only was I doing a degree with a significant amount of contact hours, but I also had a part-time job. So at most unis, you're allowed to work 15 hours a week and I was working that full amount, 15 hours. And I was also a course rep. I was in Taekwondo society. So I had to balance it all up. But as well, you've got to be adaptive here because if something comes up, whether it's an extra seminar or a friend's birthday, you need to be adaptive and say, OK, I'll do that and, and reschedule. And the best time to do this, guys, is in your first year. It's not as much stress and the workload is less. You can make use of a diary here and get used to it. So in your third year, you'll be prepared. 
People always ask me how I balanced all these things. Really, it was because I made every second of my day count. And now I can chill, because I have a first glass. Ah. You just think five minutes scrolling through Instagram, Facebook, that's it, go on, five minutes, you never get back. Food prepping, I would make all my meals ahead of the game. I didn't really watch TV, and movies or anything like that. My break time was just social. In my breaks, I would make sure I spent it with people because that's what I love to do in my spare time. I like to be social. I would do all my work until it was time to go out clubbing, until it was time to go to Taekwondo. I would work to the very last second. That links me to my next tip and that is to join a society. A society is great. People are always like, oh yes, it's good to have social side, but a society also becomes your family and a way to relieve your stress. I joined Taekwondo, which was totally random. Before I went to uni, I was not a sporty person at all. I went to uni, I started a gym, I started Taekwondo, fighting, competitions, it was crazy but best decision I ever made. When I went to Taekwondo, I felt like I could just get rid of all my stress and that everyone felt the same and we just wanted to forget about our uni studies. Don't get me wrong, I loved my studies and passion for medicine, it was great. But at the same time, you just wanted to relax for a bit. Taekwondo was great because I was fighting getting the stress out. We also learned a lot about meditation. I was stretching, keeping my body healthy. Also, we had a great social side to the club we would go out just for a drink do laser tag everything a great way i also get out my stress was going to insanity classes guys if your gym does insanity classes go they will solve all your problems insanity next guys is do not compare yourself to others on every assignment you get there'll be a deadline and people in the lecture or you'll see people around they will always ask you how much you've done how you're getting on Everyone works at their own pace. You might be working on a different assignment. Everyone is taking different modules. It literally doesn't help at all when you start talking about assignments to other people because it just makes you worried and it might make them feel bad for not doing more. So when people ask me, I would just be like, look, if you need some of my help, okay, I can give you help, but I'm not going to tell you how far I've done or anything because it's not going to help you and it's not going to help me at all don't compare yourself to others and this especially applies to your third year project your third year project varies so much from person to person whether it is analytical experimental what type of project you are doing you can't compare what you're doing at all and it's just bad for your mind and bad for the people around you just don't do it get enough sleep guys students are known for not getting enough sleep but also known for getting too much sleep you need your eight hours guys and that's it in general, I always went to bed around midnight and got up at eight, solid eight hours. I would normally go to bed like 11.30, by the time you settle down, it's, it's midnight. If you do go out clubbing, yeah, it's fine, have fun. Oh my gosh, of course. But then power nap naps can also help you. Oh my gosh, power naps help me so much in first year, especially in freshers week. Literally a 20 minute power nap, bam, you're good. When it comes to exams, the key for exams is to find your revision technique early. I discovered in my third year that the best way for me to revise was actually to lecture to myself. So speaking out loud and even making presentations for myself and teaching myself again what I needed to learn. But I didn't discover that early enough. In my first year I was making revision cards, just taking notes and I didn't know. It's not the same as doing A-levels, GCSEs or anything like that. This is your degree and you need to find a way because there is so much information. <laughs> People always say, start early, start early. Whatever they say, you will not start your revision early. It just doesn't happen. We're always like, oh, I wish I started my revision early. Yes, we always wish that. Most major exams are in around May or June time for unis in the UK. So after Christmas, plan. How are you going to revise? At the end of all of your modules, always ask about the exam and how it's going to be structured. You want to know how many exams you're going to have at the end of your final year, and then you can prepare. I had four exams and they were each three hours long. So yeah, but also in exam period, it's about still not getting too stressed. I did the best in my third year exams and that is because I was more chilled. I even went clubbing in between some of my exams. It was crazy, but the best idea ever. It was a way to get rid of all the stress 
and not get boiled down. Some people revise till 3, 4 a.m. in the morning and then get back up at 8 o'clock and expect to, their brain, they expect their brain to be ready for more. When you've had three hours sleep, that's not productive. What I did was treat it like a working day, eight hours. I would structure what I wanted to revise, get it done, five o'clock, that's it, nine to five. After five o'clock, I do not want to be thinking about it. If I wanna go out clubbing, I go out clubbing. If I wanna see my friends, I go to see my friends, go to the gym, whatever. That is the best way you can get rid of your stress, guys. Do it. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I really hope this helped you. Honestly, guys, if you use these tips, I don't see what's stopping you from getting a first class degree. Please comment if you would like me to focus on any of the details that I discuss, anything about medical biochemistry, anything about degrees or university in general. I'm happy to discuss that. So comment below. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you for my next video.